Hello, New Testament students. Welcome to week one in our class. If you're watching this video, but you have not watched the video above on uh, introducing this entire class, I encourage you to stop this video and go watch that one because that one is going to give you a bunch of information about the syllabus. I'm going to walk you through some of the things we're going to be doing in this class, why I make certain pedagogical decisions, why we do things the way we do in this class. And I'm also going to walk you through how you should go about each week in the class, the kinds of things you'll do where to start, where to end, and so on and so forth. If you've already watched that video, great. Keep with me here for this video where we're going to talk about what we're doing for the week, what our learning objectives are. So every week, this first introductory video is going to preview the things that you will be learning in the class for the week. And it's going to give you a reminder of the things that you should be doing as far as grade items go. So let's start with those things that we will be learning this week. So first, the first thing that you're gonna be doing is getting oriented to the class and its procedures. Obviously we're in week one, every professor does things a little bit differently. I'm no different. I have my own unique way of doing things, a unique way of running a course Moodle page. So you're gonna figure out and get oriented to those things this week. The next thing we're gonna do as, uh, as far as sort of an academic and lit intellectual endeavor is to define the New Testament. I already told you about that course thesis in the syllabus um, video, and we're gonna we're gonna start to unpack what the New Testament is at a more uh, flyover approach and at a more at a more meta level. As a reminder, that course thesis uh, is a definition of the New Testament, and it really is the fo focus of our entire course. So that by the end of the course, you will know the ins and outs of that course thesis and be able to explain the ins and outs of that course thesis very well. The next thing we're going to do is introduce this guy named Alexander the Great and the concept of Hellenism. This is primarily through Warren Carter's book, Seven Events That Shaped the New Testament World. Uh, you have a chapter in there about Alexander the Great and his influence on the New Testament world. I am going to, in one of the videos, sort of give you a background to uh, the empires that came before Alexander, just as a flyover approach to Israel and Judah's experience of imperial interactions that sort of culminate with, uh, with Alexander moving into the New Testament period. And lastly, we're going to introduce uh, interpretation, biblical interpretation as both an academic and a faithful exercise. And I want you to think about critical engagement and academic engagement and faithful engagement as one in the same. That to faithfully interpret and to faithfully read the New Testament as scripture means engaging it academically and critically. So we're going to talk about exegesis, we're going to talk about hermeneutics, and we're going to talk about where meaning lies in a text. So those are the goals for this week. And the other thing I need to do here is give you a reminder of the grade items to complete for this week. So depending on what grade you want in the class, you're going to complete a certain number of items in the two categories. So we have two minor minor grade items for this week. The first is to engage in the forum. You can see the specific instructions of what I want you to do in the forum for this week. But in short, you're gonna be introducing yourself to me, the professor, and also to your peers. So the forums are gonna be the primary space where we engage course content with one another, where we build course community. And to build course community, we need to know each other at least a little bit. So your primary task in that space this week is to introduce yourself. And I'm gonna introduce myself sort of outside of my role as, as professor. And then the other uh, great item that you might complete this week is our course notes. This is always going to consist of lecture pauses and reading notes. I give you a template for doing course notes uh, on the course Moodle page, just down a little bit from this video. Lastly, you have now probably recognized, having watched the introduction to the course and having watched this introduction to week one, that our course videos are going to be hosted by YouTube. There's a couple reasons I do this. Uh, I find it much faster than using something like Mediasite. Things load a lot faster on, on YouTube. Uh, and the other reason is that it's a sort of place where you can go to find all of the course videos in one spot. So what I'm going to have at the end of most of these videos is, an, uh, at least at the beginning of the semester, is an opportunity for you to subscribe to the channel so that you are informed when new videos are posted and you can come to the channel uh, simply to find videos in an easy place. I'll always also have links on the course Moodle page. Uh, that will sort of be the hub for everything we do in the 
the class, but the hub for the videos in this class are going to be here on this channel. So if you want to subscribe to it to be able to access this a little bit easier, you can push right here. And then we will also have at the end of these videos, I will include more videos for what we are doing in the class. So you can just go on if you want to jump right into the videos. If you've done some of the readings, uh, you can go ahead and go to those videos right now. I will see you in the discussion forums and have a great week jumping into the New Testament.